So sensor fusion, guys. This been going on a little bit uh, for a while, to be honest. Actually, before the update, people were talking about sensor fusion. But now with the update out, we tested sensor vision a little bit on the dev server. But now I really wanted to explain everything for you guys. Okay, so let's talk about what is sensor fusion, how does it work, and basically what you can expect and what aircraft have that. Okay, so uh, let's go to some matches where I can actually explain this a little bit. So here we are with the Eurofighter. It is one of the aircraft that got sensor fusion, right? So what is sensor fusion? Basically, you are fusing, 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 right? Fuse, I think that's the word. It doesn't matter. You're basically combining the information from the MOS, which is the Missile Approach Warning System, together with the RWR, the Radar Warning Receiver. That's the fusion you are seeing, okay? It's basically going to choose whenever, whatever type of countermeasure you need to fire. To fire, So you will see this happening right now over here. I have a missile going on. The RWR is detecting a missile launch and the RWR and the system, the DAS in this case, will wait for the MOS. Did you see that? The MOS actually detected a missile launch coming for the aircraft and once you detected that that launch was the missile that the rwr was actually looking at as well it meant that it would drop chaff efficiently in a way to be able to avoid getting killed that's kind of how it works okay so basically you will have all the information combined into one computer and then it will decide automatically to use chaff flare, whatever, and whenever it is the most efficient for the aircraft. So um, it is the most modern defense system that we have in the game. The Eurofighter one is the most modern in the game as well because it actually measures the distance of the missile. Not a lot of them actually measure that. Maybe some helicopters, but I think fixed winning aircraft, it is the only one that can do this. And yeah, it really does help this aircraft have many, you know, advantages over a normal RWR, a normal MOS even. And what are those? Well, the first one is efficiency on the number of countermeasures. You're only going to use the countermeasures that you need to use when you need to use them. So normally, I mean, in the case of the Eurofighter here, you have 400 almost countermeasures. So it is kind of you know, too much, uh, or not too much, like it's it's so much that you don't even need to care about these, but it will be a little bit more efficient on the regards of, you know, not wasting countermeasures without the need of dropping them, you know? Um, the second thing is that obviously it will create more situational awareness it is like having a second pilot inside your aircraft and deciding what type of countermeasure you're going to be releasing so it is a lot easier for the pilot to actually just ignore the defense systems part of fighting or flying a fighter aircraft you can just fly around and kill targets you can you know of course fly defensively and worry about that but at the end of the day you don't need to oh this is an ir missile this is a radar missile and this gets you killed if you don't have this from time to time it will get you killed is it perfect no it's not especially at very close ranges of course an a9m will not avoid you and it will kill you so it's not perfect obviously right but it will make you have a lot more time in your brain to actually think about the important stuff which is firing the missiles getting to the right positions maneuvering the aircraft and one of the main concerns that you normally have which is just looking at the rwr knowing if it's a radar or an IR missile, deploying the correct flare or countermeasure, you know, all of that will not be computed by your brain. It's going to be computed by the aircraft. So it takes a, a little bit of the weight of flying the aircraft off of the pilot's shoulder, which means that you become a little bit more efficient. You become a little bit more 
alive basically throughout matches you know so you're gonna notice that uh how efficient especially with the chef with some very basic maneuvers and you know the chef just dealing with everything will make this you know work like i said is it perfect no i got hit there but you will see that this will help you stay alive for longer periods of time you know so it's not perfect yes it's not perfect but it is a feature that really really does help the pilot to be a little bit more conscious on actually flying the aircraft and not having to worry about so much on the actual um you know countermeasures and rwr part of the flying which can be like half of the flying sometimes especially in top tier since we have so many missiles different types of missiles very difficult missiles to avoid even in the short ranges uh, to worry about right so it is something that it's really really helping game changing i don't know maybe depends on your flying skill and everything with that but i i think it is for sure i'll be flying the autofighter more just because of this and yeah, it will make this aircraft a little bit more effective than what it was. Again, not perfect, but it helps. So why isn't it perfect? Well, I gotta show this to you to explain it. Well, guys, this is Stat Shark, and we are using the sensor viewer over here to take a look on what is the RWRs and missile, you know, launch warning systems, the malls or whatever. Um blind spots so over here you can see some interesting things like for example we have a nine kilometer point two max range of the the malls of the das pretorian das of the eurofighter right so i don't know why this is parameter i don't know why this uh, there's an x there but doesn't matter at the end of the day you know it has a range it has a minimum closer rate it has a maximum angular rate so depending on the missile it will ignore so yeah in general it will detect any missile that it's coming from all directions 360 degrees but look at this not in all angles above and on the bottom here above you and below you it's blind so you gotta think about that because the sensor fusion the mall system together with the rwr will only work when it is actually detecting something on the mall system the malls right so it means that it needs to be on these 45 degrees to the sides over here to be able to detect it so if you have any doubts if there is a missile or not coming towards you roll your aircraft sometimes you are making a turn you are pointing basically the malls upwards and downwards because you are 90 degrees flying you know um so you have to level the aircraft check it out so uh just bear that in mind that's why sometimes i was getting hit it you know um which is something that it can be a problem right if we take a look on the actual rwr um itself of the aircraft you will notice that uh it is 100 percent 360 degrees coverage but the mall system it is you know a little bit blinded on top and on the bottom of the aircraft as you see right there okay so that's why it is not perfect okay that's why it's not going to be the best thing ever because it is having these blind spots uh we can try to look at the thales as well um let me here we have the spectra which has a mouse as well and for example in this case this is the rafale one for example it is a 360 degree protection so yeah you can see that although the you know the one for the auto fighter is blinded above and below the one in the rafale it is a 360 degree so the rafale will be even more protected the problem with the Rafale, well, it has less range, so it will let you know in a very, very short range. Sometimes it's not, like, range enough so that you can actually avoid the missile because it's so close and the missiles are very fast. It's almost twice as much on the Autofighter, for example. And the Autofighter also, also measures the distance. If I'm not mistaken, the Rafale one doesn't measure the distance. But anyway, you get the idea, right? So each of these aircraft will have this blind spots or not or different you know things that will make 
the sensor fusion work in a better way or in a worse way okay so just to let you know it's not perfect there are nuances that you have to know and what aircraft uses these things so um yeah the majority of the aircraft are helicopters okay so i'm not gonna mention every single one of them uh, but we have these for, for example, the Eurofighter, the Rafale. Uh, we have these for the A-10C, for the um, for the Su-25 SM. So if you go take a look here on the hangar, it will be basically showing their Auto CM sensor RWR plus mouse. If it appears like that, it has the sensor fusion, right? Uh, let me just grab the, the names of the RWRs over here. So yeah, for example, the A10C, right? The A10C also has uh, like a, a sideways looking, you know, um, mouse. You know, oh no, this is the laser warning system. I actually brought the wrong one, so... That is actually bad. Hold up. ML MLWS. This is the one. Ah, but yeah, it's the same. As you see, it's the same. So it will basically be blind uh, up top and down the bottom. Uh, we can talk about the L370 as well, which is the SU25 SM31. Uh, so basically, you're going to have like this. Okay. And that's kind of it, guys. Um, this is how it works. So it's an integration of sensors, which is pretty good. It makes it to be a little bit different uh, the way that you use these vehicles and stuff. Uh, it is a little bit easier. And in the future, we will see more vehicles like this. So let me know in the comments what you think about the sensor fusion mechanic. And I see you guys on the next one. Make sure to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment. And bye guys, see ya.